Hi, it's Sway. In this video I'll be covering the setup and use of the Auction House add-on Auctionator. For demonstrating this add-on, I've disabled several of my other add-ons that integrate with Auctionator to ensure a normal, out-of-box like operation, and make sure that Auctionator remains the focus of this video. If you're interested in other add-ons like Auctionator or add-ons that integrate or work well alongside it, several videos featuring these add-ons will be released in the next few weeks. Auctionator is a lightweight and smooth running auction house add-on designed to speed up the posting, canceling, and buying of auctions. After installing the add-on, go and interact with your local auctioneer to activate Auctionator. The browse, bids, and auction tabs of the auction house are unchanged by Auctionator. Instead, it adds three new tabs, buy, sell, and more. Let's start by clicking on the buy tab and then the options button in the top right. Auctionator's settings are powerful yet easy to set up and understand. In the basic option setting, the first is Enable Alt Key Shortcut. When enabled, this allows you to hold the Alt key on your keyboard and click an item from your inventory to automatically place it in the Cell tab of Auctionator to speed up posting. Automatically Open All Bags controls whether or not upon opening Auctionator if it opens all your bags for you. If you're using a bag altering add-on like I am in this video, the state of this setting isn't important. Show starting price on cell tab enables and disables the showing of the bid amount on the cell page rather than just showing your underbid percent. I'll be going into this more in detail later on in the video. The set a default duration option allows you to set the default duration of auctions to either the 12, 24, or 48 hour settings. Lastly, the default auctionator tab drop down lets you select the tab that auctionator will start at upon opening. In the tooltip section, you'll find options that affect the information shown on your tooltip while mousing over items. This information is gathered and saved during the scans of the auction house. We'll go over that ability shortly. The vendor price is the price that an item will sell to any vendor for. The auction house price is the lowest price that item can be bought off the auction house for the last time the scan found and recorded the item. Last is the disenchant value. This is the auction house value of the average materials received from the item when disenchanted and the materials are sold on the auction house. Next is the option to control whether or not the tooltip shows the item price by default and the stack price when shift is held down or vice versa. The stack price is the price of the actual size you're mousing over and not the price of the maximum stack size. The Show Disenchant Details drop-down will allow you to select a key that triggers the display of percent chance to obtain a certain material from disenchanting an item. There is also the option to display this information full-time or never. The undercutting section of the settings controls the simple auction posting rules to increase posting speed and maximize profit, and behaves as follows. If an item is over 5 silver but below the next amount of 20 silver, using the sell tab of Auctionator will automatically set your buyout price 2 copper below the lowest competing buyout for that item. This repeats up to the amount of 500 gold. On a side note, in the fast paced world of auction house selling, undercutting by large amounts benefits no one. It lowers your possible profit as well as the profit of other sellers and doesn't reduce your own chances of being undercut enough to spoil the market for everyone. Moving on to the selling section of settings for Auctionator, you'll find a set of rules controlling the stack size and number of stacks to be posted. Several of these rules are preloaded with Auctionator. Setting up these rules is fast and easy. For example, when selling glyphs, it's impractical to sell them in stacks of more than one, but not impractical to sell multiple stacks of one. So to set a rule to behave in this manner, select the appropriate rule and click edit. Then select the desired number of stacks. The many as possible option will create as many stacks of that size as you can from your current inventory. Then enter the number of items per stack you want to produce and press OK. This rule will now preset any glyphs I select to sell two single stacks of one when I place them in the cell tab or I'll click them to automatically place them. In the scanning section of the settings, you have the option to select the minimum item quality scanned and recorded by Auctionator. If it's set to Epic, it will only scan Epic quality items. When set to Rare, it'll record and save pricing information for Rare and Epic and so on, all the way to poor quality items. I recommend leaving it set to poor. Having looked through of all of Auctionator's settings, let's look back at the Buy tab. To search for an item, type all or part of the name into the search box, or shift-click the item from a link or from your inventory. 
after having searched for an item, you can add that item to a custom shopping list by clicking the new shopping list button in the bottom left. Enter a name for the list. Click accept. Once the list has been made, you can add items and remove items from the menu in the bottom left corner. This is one of Auctionator's best features and will allow for fast item searches. Just remember that what is added to the shopping list is what's typed into the search box and not the actual item. So spelling and spacing will be important if you manually enter the name of the item that you search for. A more advanced search box can be accessed by clicking the plus button to the right of the search bar and adds category, subcategory, and level range criteria to your search. Next is the sell price tabs. The current tab shows prices from items currently listed on the auction house. The past tab has pricing information stored from previous sales of items. The tab labeled other has information stored from auction house scans. The sell tab is a simple streamlined version of the default auctions tab. To place an item up for auction, drag the item to the post item box or all click it from your inventory. Once the items have been placed, Auctionator will automatically scan the auction house for your item. Items that belong to you will be marked as yours, and any cells that don't match your stack size and quantity will be slightly grayed out. This helps when selling items in stacks of one, since you don't want to compete with people selling larger quantities. Selecting those auctions of different sizes will automatically recalculate the buyout of the item that you've selected to maintain competitive pricing. The preset percent that your bid price will be reduced by from your buyout is shown in the bottom left. This can be changed to show the actual bid price as mentioned earlier in this video. As before, on the Buy tab, pricing information from previous sales and scans can be accessed from these tabs. From the last tab, you can scan all your current auctions to see if you've been undercut by anybody by clicking the Check for Undercuts button in the bottom left. Once this scan is complete, you have the option to automatically cancel the undercut auctions or ignore them. You can also individually click items from the list on the left to manually view the information and cancel the auction. The last and one of the most important features of Auctionator is the scan option. Located in the top right corner of any of the three tabs, scanning the auction house is how the information for pricing and tooltips is gathered. I recommend scanning the auction house before doing any crafting or buying of items from the auction house. Also, make note of the information on this page before performing your scan. Future videos about other auction house add-ons as well as crafting and auction goblin style add-ons will be featured in the coming weeks. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to be informed about our latest releases.